We're on a chamber curbside conversation with George from Paintball Paradise. And George, tell us a little bit about Paintball Paradise and how it all started. Well, we were running uh, charity events out here and people were coming from across the province to play paintball. And they said, geez, George, you should open us up as a commercial business. And they did. That was 26 years ago. And uh, we added laser tag probably eight or nine years ago. And then we added the corn maze and haunted pumpkin patch uh, uh, seven years ago. And, and so we've been growing lots of pumpkins and a fair bit of corn. And we've got a fairy tale trail for the young kids out here, which is Jack and the corn stock. And it's, uh, the kids really love that story. And they like going through a little maze for that. And then we have the big maze out here. And the big maze is uh, not huge, but it has a scavenger hunt. So people like going through that in the daytime. And then at nighttime, that's when it gets spooky. And from 7 to 9, uh, we put the actors out, and if you say stop, they might stop. Uh, after 9 o'clock to 11, they won't stop. So if you're crying in the corner, they'll keep bugging. So it, it, it all depends on what you want. And the haunted house is extremely popular. We've got lots of people that run through the haunted house many times through the night. And then we actually have lots of people that come back more than one night for the haunt. They love it so much. And they bring different friends, different groups. It, it's kind of neat that way. And this year we added a boneyard, that's after 9 o'clock. So we're not usually gory, but that gets a little more gory than we normally are. So that's for adults only later. And there's an adults only pass that's good all day. Uh, so if you want to come out during the day, you can. If you want to come out in the evening, you can. And uh, it's been very popular and you can buy those online or, or, or just buy them when you get here. Uh, we're trying to make sure we keep everybody socially distanced this year. We designed the corn maze so that there's passing lanes. So if something's blocking your way, you can go around it. And uh, so the, the corn maze feels a little different this year because it's more of a labyrinth than a maze, but I think that's going to be good. So we'll keep everybody safe. Uh, a hot kitchen. The hot kitchen's got, you know, burgers and hot dogs and French fries. We have a deep fryer and gravy and poutine, of course. We've got to have poutine in Canada. And then generally we're going to have some uh, pumpkin pies made with our pumpkins from here. And, uh, we're going to have uh, some berry pies and that type of stuff as well, usually apple pies and uh, pumpkin soup uh, as well. It's, it's, uh, Kathy makes it up. It's really good pumpkin soup. Um, then we have uh, mini donuts as well. We added State Farm mini donuts. And if you buy one bag, you're going to buy another one. So you might as well buy two off to start. They're really good. And then we got popcorn. You got to have popcorn with a corn maze and hot chocolate and pumpkin spice macchiatos and uh, white chocolate caramel, so warm drinks, cold drinks, popcorn, candy floss, all the good things. So basically you're telling me we get to have some fun and you get to eat while you're doing it. Yep, very good. Awesome, thanks George.